Thank you, Njami Kiboy, for that report. Now, in the business brief tonight, a group of motorists are planning to paralyze road transport in a demonstration to oppose the imposition of 16% value added tax on fuel. In Malaysia, the new Prime Minister has cancelled Chinese funded project, saying that the country cannot afford. Let's listen in. A group of motorists have promised to bring traffic to a standstill tomorrow from 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. in their protest over the 16% tax levy imposed on fuel and which is to take effect on 1st of September. The tax, which was meant to take effect in 2013 as part of reforms proposed by the International Monetary Fund, was suspended after a three-year grace period. Its implementation will see petrol prices shoot to more than 131 shillings and 93 cents per litre in Nairobi, while diesel and kerosene will cause highs of 119 shillings and 18 cents and 98 shillings and 54 cents, respectively, from the current 102 shillings and 74 cents and 84 shillings and 95 cents per litre. Kenya Private Sector Alliance CEO Caroline Kawiki, on her part, warned of the impending consequences of the implementation of the 16% VAT on fuel. She noted that the move will increase inflation rate by over 4%, increase the cost of doing business, and it will make Kenyan products less competitive in the local and international market. Crossing borders, Malaysia's Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad has cancelled the Chinese-funded $20 billion East Coast Rail Link project and a natural gas pipeline project in a bid to reduce Malaysia's national debt, now standing at $250 billion. After meeting China's Premier Li Keqiang, Mahathir said that Malaysia cannot afford the project at the moment with the nature of the financial deficit they currently have. I don't think we need those two projects. We don't think they are viable. So if we can, we would like to uh, just drop the projects. But if that cannot be done, we'll have to postpone it to the future where perhaps the need will arise. In the tech world, Chinese smartphone maker Huawei has been caught passing off DSLR photos as examples of what its smartphone camera can do. Huawei Mobile Egypt published a new 30-second advertisement yesterday for its Nova 3 smartphone, but through an Instagram picture of the actress in that particular advertisement, it was revealed that Huawei actually used a DSLR camera. This isn't the first time Huawei has been caught passing off DSLR photos as sample smartphone shots back in 2016 the company was busted after someone examined the exif data on a p9 smartphone sample photo and discovered that it had actually been captured on a canon 5d mark 3d slr and a 2100 lens <laughs>